Thank you so much, Chair. And, and if I could come back to you again, Mr. Harris. I really appreciated your answers last time around, so I think I'll come back for a second. Um, so the first question that I have is, is it possible uh, for you to table with the committee the system of performance review? Absolutely not details, but just what the methodology looks like so that we could better understand. Sure, the system of performance review is guided by Treasury Board Secretariat for all public servants, not only in Veterans Affairs. Uh, we can certainly make sure that uh, that becomes available to you. Thank you. And I'm wondering when this performance performance reviews are done, are veterans ever a source of the performance reviews? And what does that process look like if it's if it is so? Veterans aren't consulted directly. However, uh, sometimes veterans are included in terms of case notes that are referenced. Uh, there could be veterans who've escalated issues. So if uh, the uh, veteran service agent or the case manager uh, who they're dealing with directly hasn't responded effectively to their needs, as Mr. Ledwell pointed out before, there is me measures for escalation. And so feedback from veterans uh, and the support that's being offered to them does get to, taken into account in terms of the uh, performance review process. So if a veteran is 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 having a case manager and, and feels concerned about something, they, they they have a clear process and that process, uh, could that also be shared with what that process looks like and how that complaint is followed up with? It would be, I think, extremely helpful for the committee. There's a variety of ways for escalation. Uh, sometimes that, that includes reaching out to somebody in the office directly. Sometimes that's a phone call into our, our client contact center. Uh, sometimes that's a message into someone like myself as a senior official. Uh, so there's a number of ways to do that. We can uh, try and collect a few of them certainly for you and, uh, and share uh, methods of escalation for veterans who uh, may have questions or concerns about the service they're receiving. Well, thank you. That's really helpful. And I think for me, what's really important is that we don't want this to happen again. And the best way to do that, of course, is to see systems become stronger. And, and so I think that would be really helpful for the committee. And then the last question I have is just a repeat of last time that I didn't get an answer. If a veteran asks for a conversation to be recorded, is there any method of doing that? There's not a method of doing it on the Veterans Affairs side. Often veterans have indicated that they're recording conversations that they may be having with uh, a, vac a Veterans Affairs representative. And so in some cases they will note to us that they're actually recording the conversation. In other cases, they won't tell us, but at future uh, points, they may come back and indicate, I have this recorded as to what was said last time or what have you. Uh, we don't have a method of sort of just clicking a button and, and uh, starting to record a conversation if requested. Okay, thank you. 